value trades. Welcome back, traders. You may have heard us many times referring to various trading styles like position trading, where a trader or investor opens and holds a position for weeks, months, or years, swing trading, where a trader opens a position and closes it days later, intraday trading, where positions are opened and closed during the same trading day, and scalping, where a trader opens a position and closes it seconds or minutes later. Scalping requires a higher level of market knowledge, experience, nerves of steel, time to spend monitoring the charts, and a different plan for your risk management and risk reward strategy. For example, many professional scalpers will only risk 0.25% of their account or less on each trade and perhaps use a risk reward ratio of 1 to 1, assuming that their win rate is high. They may, however, be making hundreds of scalps every day. Just like other trading styles, there are three types of markets to trade. Trending markets, where we trade with the trend. Remember, the trend is your friend. Many traders find that the London and New York Opens are best for this type of trading. Range trading, where you may go both short and long in succession on certain pairs. Many traders find that later in the New York session and through the Asian session are best for range scalping. And news events, where we can take advantage of counter trend price action and trade with the current trend. To scalp properly, we need low spreads on the pairs that we choose, and Value Trades has some of the best spreads around for scalping. To visually view the spreads, you can turn on the Show Ask line by right clicking on the chart and under Properties and Common, select it here. You will note that major instruments like Euro Dollar and Dollar Yen have lower spreads based on higher liquidity but some more exotic pairs may not and may not be suitable for scalping. You may also monitor your spreads with a custom indicator like Spread Indicator under the MT4 code base. We would highly recommend that you make separate templates and profiles for your scalping strategies. For trading trends, you simply use your technical analysis skills on higher time frames like the 1 hour, 30 minute and 15 minute to determine the overall direction and use the M5 and M1 to enter and exit positions. For example, here we see several examples of pullbacks against the current trend where opportunities exist to enter and exit quickly. You will also note that traditional chart patterns work just as well on shorter time frames. Your favorite indicators will work as well, but you must ensure and backtest that they will be suitable for your strategy. Range trading on the M5 and M1 charts with support and resistance and such indicators like Bollinger Bands and the Stochastic Oscillator are often an effective combination. You must, however, confirm two things before you jump in. Measure the upper and lower limits of the range and, if they are too close together like 5 pips, this range may be too small to trade. Also, spreads may vary during the day and in different sessions, so if the spread of this pair is equal to a large percentage of the range you want to trade, you might be better off looking elsewhere or trying again later. If you are not experienced with scalping, it is important to practice on a demo account until you get to know the behavior of certain markets, all the sessions, and certainly the instruments. Try all of your favorite indicators and like any strategy, backtest, backtest, and backtest. That's all for now. Happy trading with Value Trades, and we will see you again soon. CFDs and FX are leveraged products, and your capital may be at risk.